What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another unboxing video. Now, I know it's been a minute since I've done that. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Now, I know I've, it's been a minute since I've even posted on my YouTube channel, but we are back now. And one solid reason why we are back is because, as you can see, we have ourselves some visitors. Um, now, I know a few things may look different. Um, you know, my, my setup is different, so now you can see all the good posters back there. You got the Sonic Ninja, uh, Ninja Turtle with Five Nights Freddy's poster and all that. As you know, we got the trailer for the third Sonic movie, which I completely lost my mind for. If you guys want to see me do a review on that, please let me know and I will definitely do one. I'm ready to get into these action figures because Sonic, I've had him for almost like three weeks now. And I didn't want to open him because I was waiting to get Shadow. And Shadow just came in the mail today. So guess who we're going to get into first? All right. First, we're going to be starting off with Sonic the Hedgehog. We have Sonic the Hedgehog here, and this, um, this is not like the other Sonics we've been getting that is like the movie versions. This one is obviously different. Um, it has 22 points of articulation, so this should be very good. Let's give it an, a crack in. I was trying to make it short for less opening. Man, shut your... Yeah. All right. Now... We've got him open. Here is Sonic the Hedgehog, guys. As you can see, this guy is very articulated. Look at all these points of articulation he has. He has them in his shoulders, in his freaking fingers for crying out loud. You can um, move his feet around. So, you know, that's pretty cool. You can uh, rotate him as well, but not too much. There's not too much rotation on him. Um, yeah, I can't say the same for this one, though. This one over here, you can rotate this one a lot. But, um... You know, yeah, and you got a little bit of some torso action going on here. Can you actually, you can turn it a little bit, but, you know, not a lot. But that's okay, you don't need to turn it a lot. And last but not least, look at the back. We have ourselves some quills. And these look like these were supposed to light up at one point, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, it, if it was, then it probably came within the box, which it didn't. But that's fine. I'm still liking it. Here's Sonic. This is, this action figure is amazing this is one of the best sonic action figures i've ever had hello i know you weren't expecting this but i just want to make a quick message so i don't want to hear those words i don't want to see those words glazing Anything of the D word eating. I don't want to see it. My opinion is my opinion. And if I see you saying that, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Heed that warning. Now let's continue watching the video peacefully. Now, I've never had any of the classic uh, classic Sonic action figures, so of course I'd say this. i um, not trying to throw any shit at the other ones that has been out before that may or may not be better than this one. But because this is one that I really grew up with, I guess, because I'm really growing up with movie Sonic, and I didn't really play... Oh, well, I've played, all the, I've played all the classic games, but I didn't really grow up on the classic games. This is, this is pretty cool, so if you want... As you can see, you can ball up his fingers. You know, he's really upset and he wants to punch you. Or you can open it um, like he wants to give you a dap up or a high five or something. Hopefully, we can try to do that when we get chatted off the box. But yeah. So, as you can see, they pay clear attention to detail as they have all three of his back spines. Pretty cool. Um, liking it. Um, now, one thing that I... One thing that, I don't know, one thing I don't like about this, and it's just one thing, that that's it, is his thumb. I wish you could, like, you know, move his thumb, too, so, like, whenever he opens his hand, it just looks, I don't know, it just looks weird, but that's, it's not that big of a problem, it's not that big of a deal, it's still a pretty cool, good feature, um, you know, if you want him to fight, then he look like he's balling, he's balling his hands up, so, you know, that's all good. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is Sonic the Hedgehog. I love the paint job on this guy, too. I hate to sound like a nerd, but I really do. I, I really do like the paint job on him. 
he looks pretty good this is this action figure man i'm so glad that shadow came because one more day and i think i he i think i just would have busted him open All right, now that we've got the blue blur out of the way, we can get into the main attraction of the movie, which is his counterpart, Shadow the Hedgehog. What is my? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a main for my. Now they got him locked up in here. See, come on. Give me a second, guys. They wanna lock. They wanna lock Shadow up, but not Sonic. This guy is not that. He's not that much of the ultimate life one more where he I can't barely get him out of the box now. I'll be back. Let me go get some freaking scissors. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Get out of it. Ugh. Here is Shadow the Hedgehog. Jesus Christ, you could you could get all the detail like in the fur and stuff like you could with Sonic Jesus. This is so cool. Okay, so let's get into some more stuff. All right, so obviously um, they do have similar features and literally the exact same articulation with the hands and stuff. Um, uh, the wrist, the rings and everything, um, you know, pretty good paint job. They did pretty well. Um, I don't know if I was paying enough attention in the trailer to know if these were, these little red things were bigger or smaller, but, um, I might review it so we can, so we can find out together. Hopefully, I don't know, they might have been bigger or smaller, I don't know, I, I don't, wasn't paying attention. Um, also when we look at the bottom of the air shoes, you know, we've got some good detail down here. I'm liking it, I'm loving it. Um, and one thing I really do want to point out, right, is his shoes. So we all know Shadow has an interesting shoe design within the movie. And I think they captured it actually pretty well. I do like it very much. I like it a lot. Um, they got pretty much everything in the movie pretty accurately, right? It's literally the movie version. This is Sonic and like just more the articulated, articulated version. As you can see, Shadow has the same features as Sonic. So he has that little extra um third spine going down the middle as long as uh this in at the back the middle so you know that's pretty cool good detail to look at um you know he's got these little red stripes on his arms and and legs and uh you know and the uh like i said earlier well i didn't uh say it. how do you yeah so like i said earlier the rings the inhibitor rings they are Pretty well detailed. I like it. I like them a lot. I like I like them a lot. They're so great. And yeah, I like it. And they like I like how his his uh, air shoes kind of look like boots at the bottom. I I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I do really like how they kind of look like boots at the bottom. As you can see, he has some you know middle articulation here, just like Sonic. Um, along with the feet, you can you know make them fly if you want. So you know you know what I'm saying, right? Man, these things have tons, and I mean tons of articulation here. Oh man, these figures are great. These figures are awesome. So that means you can really just pose them with however you want. So if you want to make a video game reference or a pose or something, or even a stop motion with these things, you absolutely can. Um, Because these, these action figures are just so articulatable, if that's a word. You know, they have a lot of articulation, so it's really, really hard not to do what you want to, with these things. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I like these a lot. So, as you can see, we have a huge difference here. Shadow is angry. He's very angry. He wants to crash out. He, the, he wants the whole world to die. And Sonic is very happy. He just simply doesn't mind. But just like in the trailer... He's going to grab Sonic right by the throat, right? And boom, you know what I'm saying? I don't get distracted. But um, yeah, I like it. Um, Shadow's paint job is also pretty well. Shadow doesn't have the same little, these little lines on the back like Sonic does. So still, I kind of think these were intended to light up because like literally they look like it. I mean, what else would these be there for? Because 
you know, if, if they wanted to make him like light, they probably would have painted that. But there was probably some lights that were supposed to go on in his head or something. Um, so, you know, could be wrong. Um, and Shadow, he, he just doesn't have them. But, you know, that's uh, pretty much the video here. Um, we have Sonic and Shadow, guys. I, hey... This is, I've been waiting for these action figures to come out for a long, long time. Right? These action figures are great. I love them. Um, these might be the best action figures, early Sonic action figures that has graced the presence of my household. And I really do like them. So, you know, they're just going to be adding my boy to that movie. They're going to add them to that movie. And um, hopefully we get a, a a Knuckles version of this. Because I forgot. On the back of the box. Which is hopefully not already torn up too bad. You can get. Uh, here let me use this one. On the back of the box. Um, you can get. Um, Eggman. Um, Dr. Eggman. Tails and Shadow. And Sonic obviously. Which is the ones I already have. So this is the full collection on the back of the people you can get. Um, so I think, um, hopefully the next unboxing video concerning Sonic will be Tails and Dr. Robotnik. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it. But, you know, I had to get these two out of the way, you know. As a huge Sonic fan, you gotta get what you gotta get, you know. That, that, that's pretty much it. I will be back. If y'all see me do a review on the trailer, you should probably have already expected to know that it was coming because yeah i i i was actually in the works the day when it came out however i did record like the first part but then my computer died like halfway and everything was gone so i had went through like a whole deep analysis of the trailer and everything and my computer died i turned it back on after it was charged a little bit and everything was gone i was so sad i just wanted to crash out i just wanted to grab shadow right by but um you know that that's it that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video um you know i've been waiting for these pretty sure you have been too i think we're all waiting on the movie i we have great expectations for the movie you know the movie's gonna be great um but besides that, I'm pretty much done here, okay? You guys have yourselves a great day, and don't forget to be in the theaters um, December 20th when the movie drops, all right? I will be catching you all in the next one. Peace out. Why are you still sitting here? I just, I, I just said peace out. You want me to leave? I'll leave, all right? I'm out. Bye. I'm gonna take them if you don't mind. Are you mental? I literally just told you to leave. Or are we still sitting here? Okay. Since you want to be weird, I'm gonna make the correct move here. And I'm gonna end the video. Get out of here.